Hello, welcome back to Night City. Nice. Okay, apparently now it is 6 p.m. All right, let's go. Let's go to. This is bar. Oops, we have a lot of stuff here. Bounce back, hey, bounce back. Stress ball. Cars here? No. Not yet. Not yet. Let's run. Okay, okay. There are cars. Apparently, there are cars here. Really? No. No cars, anyways. Right. Ooh. Lots of cars. <laughs> okay, run over by a car. That is nonsense, man. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, nothing. Oh, lots of garbage. Hello. Okay. What do you want? Nothing. Where are you going? Okay, let's buy something to eat. Burrito. Okay. Ooh, another car. Okay, where is our place? Hello? Hello? Look, uh, I I'm waiting for a friend. Okay. Yo, what's up? Okay, we are going in Lizzie's bar today. So we prepare, man. Nicola. Hello. Yeah, got something to say? Hmm, nothing. So cool, man. Yo. What do you want, friend? Okay. Hello. No, no, I'm just fine. Thanks. Oh. Whoa, what's up, man? <laughs> Looks uh, awesome. Hey, man. how's it going? 
How's you going, man? de Canto. Nice. Okay, let's go in. Hello. Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? Brain dance. What's well, good? What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers, no washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Oh, tour stuff. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come here. Clearly know how to sell it. Not a sales pitch, it's a warning. I'll give you one word. Bespoke. Not for everyone's synapses. Think you can handle it? Oh yeah, come on man, mmm. Bespoke? Damn, that sounds promising. I get it, I'm in. Mm-hmm. Couple of things you need to know first. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, input. All right. Yo, what's up? Whoa, so cool, man. Mm. What'll it be? Hmm. All right, all right. Oh. My, what a sweet little no, face you have. Abydos. What do we have here? Tons of people here. Just hanging around, drinking, and wandering, and mm -hmm. smoking. Okay. So. Hello. What's up? Kiss my dad's bunk! <laughs> okay. Okay. What do you want? The Max. Take it. Let's raid. The Max. Mox. It's one of those stories that is either way simple or very complicated. Depending on who you ask, for Janice, it was a mix of both. The Max came to exist because it had to. We didn't have a soul in our corner. No one to make sure street justice was on our side, so we took matters into our own hands. The Max is composed of the people who, if any of them, disappeared from the street tomorrow. You might never even notice sex workers, penniless artists, aimless rebels, Restless souls who weren't dealt with a fair hand. Today, the Max is striving, as demonstrated by the booming bees of Liz's bar. Liz's is renowned for being arguably, arguably the best brain dance club in Night City. Corporate suits, gangoons, pop stars, and locals alike all gather at Liz's to kick back, have a drink, and dip into the most beautifully scrolled and tuned BDs you have ever experienced. Most customers, however, are all oblivious to the fact that the club is gang-owned and operated. That the mags are in charge, watching after their own, just like Lizzie in, of Legend once did. Know the story, Lizzie used to work here back when it was just a typical dive with a 
home. Janice proudly explained. She took care of the girls to make sure Eddie's were falling into the pockets, and their teeth weren't falling to the curb. At this one time, this uh, at this the snow referring to a、uh, Tiger Claws gang member was having too much fun with one of the girls, and Lizzie just couldn't stomach it anymore. Story is she deprived the wor- the worm of his little tiger. Balls so quick and nasty. It took them two days to clean up all the blood and puke splatter. Cause the claws found found out fast, and they flat flatlined her in a flash. Oh, but everyone that she had impacted in some way, they were still around. They came together, fought back, and well, you only know the rest. Oh, I see. This is bar. Of course. What's up? My, what a sweet little face you have. All right. What's up? What's up? Yes. Everything can be solved, truly. Everything. <coughs> okay. <coughs> What do you have here? Doors. Can we open? No. Oh, this door can be open. Ooh, lots of tombs here. Yeah. Hello. You got something to tell me? Say it. Don't just stand there like a limp dick. Ooh. Whoa. Truly a cyberpunk. What's up? Uh, all good. Yo, what's up? I have a tiger, babe.、Hmm? What is it? I'm off the clock, hon. I have a tiger, babe. Okay. Cards. I'm off the clock, hon. What do we have here? Whoa. There is that green new place. We went there yesterday. Huh? Drawn up there. Why are you sitting up here, man? So cool. All right, photo mode. Camera type, first person perspective. All right. What's up? Wow, where do you shop? The streets, of course. Yo, what's up? Hasn't rained in a while. Really?、Hmm? Oh, look at this one. Hey, is there something I can do for you? Cause I'm kind of busy. Really? Piss off, slacker! Another fucking weasel. Oh. Hello. We got a problem? No. Huh? You want me to kick your ass? Mwah. <laughs> really? Ooh. What do we have? 
here. Sit at the bar and ask about uh, Evelyn. Hmm. Of course. What do we have and here? Ooh. No future. Guitar pick. Broken. Hmm? What? Oh, what's inside their card? Okay. Anything else? Hmm. What's this? Game over. No, don't cry. You got this all. Lizzy Wizzy. Okay. Up. Yo, so cool, man. I the tiger, babe. Really? Whoa. What do you I'm off the clock, hon. What do you do to your head, man? Mm -hmm. What have you done? Okay. To death. Okay. Locked. Okay, what do we have here? Anything? Anything useful? Useful. What's this actually? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm so. Some of us got no time to chat. Really? Clearly, you are too busy. Mhm. Mm Watch it. Whoa. Huh? Can't hack this one. No. Can't hack this. Oh, we can open this. Ooh, nice. What do we have here? Love. Dollars. Mm, nothing. Nothing is left. Oh, something here? Can of course. You can count on me, babe. Max down. Yo, what's up, man? Whoa, your hair is so dangerous. Yeah? What's up in the big world? Really? <laughs> Weird. Weird. Oh, okay. Hmm. Titanium microplate mesh. Okay, what do we have here? The Vampire Prince is back! 
read message. The Vampire Prince is back. Monster hunters beware! Turbo Dracula is dark, greedy, visceral action game experience where you play as the plasma thirsty prince of puncture wounds himself, Dracula. He has risen again. This time as a digi clean in the body of chrome. But the, his appetite for blood hasn't waned on one bit, as assisted by the uh, descendants of an ancient blonde, blonde line, he, he wages war against the sinister Helsin Corp, headed by Demon Brothers Manchester. They aim to take over the world with the help of genetically spliced werewolf zombies. Dracula must force, must face difficult choices, such as whether to res resurrect his old friend Viago or to transmute it into his nemesis. Nemesis. <laughs> a Polish legal, uh, a Polish real-time combat system and non-linear storyline offer the player deep immersion in a single player, while the multiplayer mode allows you to team up with your chum chumbers as they take control of the brooding Varney or blood fan favorite Herbert without spoiling any of the endings yes multiple endings I will leave you with just one thing Lady Carmilla Rutum Rushman Batori is a hands down the most captivating character ever written in the hundred year history of video games period okay Vampire Princess back okay Can't hack this one. Oh, come on. This is mine, man. Hmm. Hey! Whoa, what's up? Euro dollars. Samurai chipping in. Oh, intense, man, intense. Okay, okay. What do we have here? Ooh, so many equipments. Yo, 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 what's up? What's up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so intense. So intense. Okay. No, don't cry. You got this all. Mm -hmm, sure. Sure. See you soon. Whoa. Whoa. Really? Okay. Do you have here? Okay, bounce back. Let's. Uh, can I use the computer? No, really. Really, I can't use the computer. Okay. Long time no see. Okay. Yeah, you know how it goes. What's up? I'm just getting started. Okay. What's going on? Yo. It's all a facade. Real. Mm. I try and I try. The war is coming.
Hello. I the tiger, babe. I'm off the clock, hon. Nice. Ho ho. Oh. I the tiger, babe. I have the tiger. Wanna come back to my place? You have one last drink. Ugh. Don't even start. Sir. You have any idea who I am? Fucking thought so. Who you are? Come on, tell me. Who are you? What? You want a new friend? Okay. Whoa. I like what I see, baby. But I am busy. Whoa, intense, man. <laughs> Whoa, what's up? What are you doing? Stuck? Konnichiwa. Oh, konnichiwa. Fuck it. Nothing even matters. <laughs> uh -huh. oh. Where are you from? You're stuck in the chair, man. Uh -huh. Come on. Huh? Oh. Sir. This is the fucking world. Something's wrong. Okay. <sighs> Nice one. Kiss my dead punk! Whoa, really? Come on, come. My, what a sweet little face you have. Okay. Um. Kiss my dead punk! Whoa. Yeah, got something to say. Whoa. You're a pretty one. My, what a sweet little face you have. Kiss my dead punk! Oh. Too intense, man. Hello? Don't start. Okay. Uh, and you are? Yes, I'm V. How are you? Word out of me. Maybe there's something here. Eh. Wow, intense man. Brain dance, eh? Uh, we have some. Try that new one. Not yet. Drinks. Nicola Fire. Oh, I thought you were someone else. Hello. Oh. You blind? NDA junk. Okay, looted. Of course. NDA. No, no, don't thank me. Oh. -ho. This is busy and the meta world. Meta world's brain dance. What do we have here? 
Shock. Absorbent conversation layer. Okay. I have no idea. Top of Liz's bar. Thing here. Okay, let's go down. Let's go down and what's up? I'm off the clock, hon. I have a tiger, babe. I have the tiger. All right, whoa, very intense, man. The next time you fuck something up. When was the last time I fucked anything up, huh? Seriously? How far back you want me to go? Oh, medical forceps. Okay, what do we have here? Tomato juice. got something to tell me say it don't just stand there like a limp dick oh, oh. yo what's up do I know you no nope. well Something here. 
New shirt, NC Night Live. NC Night Live drinks, dancing, uh, debauchery. If you are a dancer like us, don't miss out on Lizzie's. You find no better brain dance club in the city, no matter how deep you dig. Modern boxes, a solid tech, but most important, the catalog. Chock full of nearly any experience you can imagine. You'll find everything you need to get you off, fast or slow, nasty or classy, and everything in between. Don't let the girls at the front door scare you off or kill your buzz. They are very off newcomers, but once you get in, they'll, they'll, they'll treat you like one of their own. Trust us, give Lizzie's a try and you'll never go anywhere else. Now, the afterlife, that's a different story. Sure, you can't cut loose and have a good time here, but the afterlife is a place of business above all else. Want to meet with a fixer about the job that it's doing, discuss important gig details with client over drinks, or maybe just sit back and people watch to see the, the comings and goings of the NC and the world's biggest merc and fixer names. The afterlife is a great place for all the above. Only a place, really. If you're looking for the city's marquee events, you'll find yourself in a riot. Chart chopping playlists. Live performances from the brightest stars, both local and from around the world. DJ battles, a unique music shows, and media-packed album premises. A sound like you've seen. Don't miss out on Riot. Okay. Close. <laughs> Oh, look at the move here. Yeah. Serious move. Yeah, got something to say. Yo, what's up? What do you want? What's up, man? Privia. Privia. Are you looking for someone? No, just chilling. Chill, man, chill. this new shirt Slavoja Mikalista in the news again pompous asshole or eccentric genius acclaim rocker boy Slavoja McAllister has ruffled feathers yet again following his most recent performance at nightclub Totentans while rock con concert brawl is not no big news itself Several unofficial sources allege it was McAllister who instigated in the violent outbreak of after hurling a tear gas canister at paparazzi in a crowd before the booze filled melee got hit at the Cartesian uh, duelist 
premiered new songs "Cybernetic Soul," "Minus Freedom," and "Cognito Ergo Sum," which, as usual, has have critics is divided. Lyrically, the new singles touch an issue such as internal struggle of body and mind and the limitations of our senses, and a search for absolute truth. Some critics consider the new material. What? Pseudo inten intellectual drive. Pseudo inte intel intellectual drive. Drivel. Others praise the band's fresh, innovative spin on the genre. Beyond the bra, even the McCallister's headlines are making headlines. What? Beyond the bra, even the McCallister's. Megalithos headlines are making headlines. We are seeing an interview with Nfit4 News about the cryptic title of the track "Cognito." Cognito. Ergo, some meant the rocker boy replied. He and revved by questions from Gong Brain frauds. What are you? Despite. Or perhaps thanks to the numerous、uh, controversies, even swirling around the ca- the Cartesian dualist frontman, his popularity continues to swell. The brand's new album is slated for release soon, and if you believe the ch- chatter on the net, it will be entitled "War of Truths." Okay, this is a disaster. Regular, okay. Sub regular. What's up? Get an honest job. Ho ho. Wow. Nice place. Hey. Get you something. Okay. Liz is still work here. You gonna say something? Yeah. Why not? What's on the menu? Ooh. What do we have here? Pills, filters, booze, vodka, everything.、Mm. Okay. Does this still work here? So curious. The name Lizzie's. Is that the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Now I'm just flat interested. Real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Girls were paid right, insured, even had decent security. Good spot, all in all. The good old days. I like stories, but I'm. Ah, stories of the golden days, inevitable demise and the inevitable drink over sweet memories. Tall what makes the tall tales easier to swallow. So what went wrong? Tiger claws shot up Lizzie. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls, real bad ones. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. Gang came back the next day. Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with.、Them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. The big boss now is Susie Q, but the sign stayed up out of respect. Biz booms to this day. Looking for Evelyn. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? Ooh. 
big tipper. Well, name's, name's v. v. She and I have a uh, date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm Mateo. Uh-huh. So, Evelyn? Club's big. Gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. Let's wait for this one. Hello? No, don't! Evelyn Parker. What's up? I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Why not say hello sooner? I wanted to get a good look at you first. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. Nothing's wrong. Really? Why don't you just tell me the truth? I just told you. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. You don't care what Dex thinks? I'm the best. I just cut to the chase. I don't know him well. <sighs> <We? we're> the... <laughs> no idea if Dex exaggerates. A little, a lot. You got me. Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere. Not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Ooh. Seriously, he's my target. You're near Arasaka. You know who is gonna add an army around him, I bet. V?
So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Okay. Top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Okay, let's see what's up else. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Nightwatch something doesn't add up. Wait, neutral Netwatch is mixed up in this. Netwatch provides net security for all corporations, and collects eddies in the millions for it. But, in this day and age, everyone's in the game. And no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. So was Yorinobu slated to get in return? So what's Yorinobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens, and I get the chip. Okay. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant. Entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. What else you know about Yorinobu? Quite a bit, actually. He studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. <laughs> Probably didn't have a choice in the matter, come to think of it. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu vanished to chase his own dreams. Cut himself off from the corp for years. Long story short, though the black sheep returned, the bitter taste remained. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has always walked his own path, and so has his own designs on the corp. Could be another power-hungry corpo dick, like so many others. <laughs> Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an emperor's son? You have everything, yet you are no one. Nothing. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. I... sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. And one you plan to exploit fully. Okay, what's next? Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. I think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits. Jacking off to in those boxes. Now, what are you doing? 
family empire. The legacy of Arasaka needs no introduction. The Arasaka Corporation is one of the world's most powerful, with offices located in every major metropolis across the globe. For years, it has been behind the proverbial wheel of our planet's economy and society. The history of Arasaka in Night City is deserving its own article, but suffice to say, the media industry in our city follows the family behind the megacorp as closely as they do share prices. The story of the Arasaka family is one of the empire, a true dynasty under the rule of patriarch Saburo Arasaka. Rumors of the great Saburo's retirement and cession of company control as well as of its closely guarded secrets to his daughter Hanako oh, his daughter Hanako and son Yorinobu have come and passed in recent years but has the time come where such rumors may finally contain a grain of truth our sources report that Yuri Nobora Saka is currently in Night City, but not for social call. And yet, if Yuri Nobu is strategizing a move for the throne, what of Hanako? Experts who follow the family closely uh, unanimously agree that um, unanimously agree that due to ideological differences between Saburo and Yorinobu, Hanako will likely cement herself as the one true heir to the immense fortune and power of the Arasaka family. However, reality is hardly ever so predictable. Familial power d dynamics can shift in an instant. For example, what could happen if Hanako fell from favor at a time when Yorinobu had his father's ear, and scenario might cause such a fall. No family is without its secrets, and the Arasakas are no exception. After all, what appears first as heaven appears second as hell. Japanese proverb. Hmm. No. It can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted. Of course. Doesn't grasp. Would you, you can count on me, what you need. So what's on the tape? Mm -hmm. Yorinobu's no, suite. No, no, don't the thank glorious me. interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? So, you know... It's supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. It means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. Uh -huh. V, this is important. Judy's don't, always been there for me. You got this, always dog. helped out. Mm -hmm, I trust sure. her. But sure. she's a mox. Not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, you'll be a good boy. Tread lightly. And keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. <clears throat> hey, there you are. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. 
impressive looking setup. Need all this to process brain dances. Mm-hmm. Analyzers, sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors, facial expression translators. <clears throat> Judy. All right, all right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Nope. So what how do you mean by raw? How's this differ from the ready-mades? Huh. Ready-mades, provided they're well-made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass-market shit, so it's pre-crafted, hard-coded, fenced-in, and manageable. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue in Viro. Get to move around, look at things in detail. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Ooh, what do we have here? So many things here. Okay, I think we will uh, have a seat and we'll get started. Stop here and we will continue next time. Wait one more. Okay, new release brain dance stick. V, what you waiting for? What's up, BD maniacs? Hungry for a new emo rush? Then check out the latest word from the freshest BDs on the market. Foreign body. The body is everything. There is nothing else. It is you, but it is also just a tool for your mind to interact with the world. But what would happen if this tool tried to live its own life? What if it tried to kill you? True, not a particularly original addition to the thriller genre, this is Brandon's featuring Luke Pollard is still a solid experimental ride. The fear of disobedient implants has been around since pirates were walking around on peg legs. Well, maybe not that long. As a result, the trope has been pervasive in film, brain dance, and urban legend alike. Still Foreign Body borrows some of the genre's best elements while still incorporating just enough new stuff to the mix. To get a could keep it interesting. After all, it's not every day you see the world from the perspective of a sentient arm. Sentient arm. Maxwell's rehab. This brand dance season has been chock full horror, but this one stands out from the rest. The always phenomenal Maxwell Rem Ramirez is a push to the brain of cyber psychosis. So we can relieve his return to no mercy. The title offers a turn of optimism, but don't let that fool you. You will relieve Maxwell's slip into psychosis, the heartbreak of his wife, and the gradual inter integration into worlds that is now far different from how he left it. This BD is a must relief of the season, but. It's not for the faint of heart. Badlands Raid. At last a BD for those looking for something a little lighter. Badlands Raid is a remake of the 2023 classic, which was an innovative tour at the force of the time. For those of you unfamiliar, the plot uh, revolves around an ordinary, boring guy who accidentally gets ta tangled up in a nomad ambush on a Zenatech convoy. I won't spoil it because even though the main plot hasn't changed in 54 years, most people these days probably don't know the ending. 
What I will say is that the remix creators have introduced a few modern twists into the story that should make for a pleasant surprise, classic lovers and newbies alike. Okay. Okay, thanks for watching. We will stop here and we will continue next time. Have a seat and we'll get started.